For the first time car buyer, getting a loan for a car can be a rather intimidating experience. Firstly, it involves a very large purchase, whether that vehicle is new or used, on average between $15,000 and $28,000. Secondly, due to their relatively short credit history, they'll likely be facing a bad credit car loan. For someone just entering the credit market, this can be a bit of a shock. But for consumers who have been in the credit market for many years, a bad credit rating can creep out of nowhere to affect how easily it will be to get a car loan and whether or not that loan will have a good interest rate. According to myfico.com, a credit score is based on these five qualities that affect the score to a particular extent. Payment history, 35%. Debt, 30%. Length of credit history, 15%. Number of credit accounts, 10%. Diversity of credit accounts, 10%. For consumers who are just entering the car loan market, there is a good chance that they will fit into the bad credit category due to their short history with credit-based purchases. Since the actual length of time a consumer uses credit makes up 15% of his or her credit score, having little to no time making credit purchases can give that person a bad credit rating right out of the gate. This may be frustrating to someone negotiating their very first car loan, who might see their own credit history as spotless due to the fact that they're almost completely free of debt. Nonetheless, it is the way the standard is set and the first impression a car lender will get from the first time car buyer. Lenders, however, do not live in a vacuum and they do consider other factors before making a final decision on a car loan application. Payment history is the largest single factor in a credit score, according to FICO's credit scoring standards, making up a whopping 35% of the total information that is calculated to produce an individual score. There's little doubt that a consumer who pays his or her bills on time will have to suffer through the process of getting a bad credit car loan. According to a Consumer Reports survey, only 54% of Americans pay their balances in full each month. The arithmetic couldn't be simpler. 46% of Americans either are late on payments, do not make payments in full, or don't make payments at all. These figures would suggest that a significant minority of consumers are struggling with credit and fall behind the good credit mark, creating a niche market for lenders to sell financing to people with bad credit. In the form of bad credit card loans, this can provide a path to rebuilding credit if the borrower is diligent in making his or her payments on time and in full. For someone who has had many years of credit dealings, there is a timeline that can be studied by lenders to determine the general spending, borrowing, and payment habits of that borrower. A credit report doesn't actually exist for a consumer, according to myfico.com, until it is requested by the consumer or a lender. It is then compiled from information supplied by banks, lenders, and public court records into the actual credit report once the request is made. A consumer about to purchase a car should take the time to consult his or her credit report to determine if that document is accurate. Due to the amount of data compiled by an individual credit report, it is possible that incorrect information can make its way into the report and debts paid off not recorded. This can mean the difference between a bad credit car loan and a good one. How decisions are made to change a particular amount of interest on a car loan is a matter of the borrower's credit standing. The better an individual customer's credit is, the more they can be counted on to pay back the loan within the specified time period or term. A bad credit car loan will carry a higher interest rate than a car loan made for someone with good credit. Since the interest rate is the cost of using someone else's money, there must be some sort of compensation or minimization of risk during the term that money is being used by a borrower. A higher rate of interest is that compensation. Currently, according to Bankrate.com's Interest Rate Roundup, the nation's average APRs, annual percentage rate, or new car loan financing hovers at 3.21%, while used car financing sits at a higher 4.35%. These rates are for prime borrowers, that is, those people who have good to perfect credit, and a car buyer with bad credit will be looking at an APR on a car loan that's anywhere from 3 to 7 percentage points higher than the average prime rate. Risk is a natural hazard of the car loan business, and higher interest rates are the cost of doing business. The solution to making it easier to borrow money, in general, is to fix those problems that keep a credit score low. Though it's a painfully obvious statement to make, 
many consumers continue on the path that led them to being a credit risk in the first place, without ever thinking about the things they could do to repair their damaged financial reputations. Having to seek out a bad credit car loan is a plain indicator of one's own credit health and should be dealt with as quickly as possible by paying off existing debts, correcting bad information in a credit report, and not taking on any new debt. As circumstances make a car loan necessary, it must be done intelligently. While a higher interest rate comes with the turf, there is no need to enter into a bad credit car loan at the higher interest rate. Federal Auto Loan Good credit, bad credit, no credit, all good. <laughs>